Hey guys, so this is the look that we're going to be filming today. It is the Icy Death, the second look in my Ice Bitches series, and it's how I feel about the weather right now. So, let's go ahead and get the tutorial started. Alright guys, so we're going to start by concealing our under eye circles and anywhere else like redness, um, and then priming our eyes, and then we're going to coat our face in a white powder, or just a complexion shade that's a lot cooler than what you usually have. And then I'm using this palette and it's got like five shades of blue, like silvery blue in it. And I'm using the lightest blue shade to contour and we're going to build up this contour. So we're going to start with the lightest shade and work our way to the darkest shade. And you're going to want to put the lightest shade all over. We're going to make these contours really fierce because this skull is going to want to have a lot of sharp edges on it. So you guys are definitely going to want to get a reference photo for this. Um, but you're gonna shade the temples, the cheeks, and around your nose like usual. And now I'm taking that darker, more of a navy blue shade, and just putting that closer to the top edge of the contour and not blending it out quite as much as I did that blue, the light blue, the very, very first one. So now we're going to start working on eye makeup and I'm putting that light blue silver shade on my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye and then doing a darker blue on the outer edge and just blending them together in the middle and um, then using a dark dark blue in my crease and blending that out a lot and then uh, just taking a white and kind of blending over everything with that with a fluffy brush. And then I'm taking this NYX Cosmetic Pencil in Milk and putting that white on the inner corner of my eye up to my nose and then putting it uh, down underneath my eyes and blending it out with my finger. And we're also going to run that pencil down the bridge of our nose and blend it out with our fingers and then take a blue shade and start contouring our nose and then just take a sponge and run over everything to kind of soften all the edges. So then we're going to start on our eyebrows and I did my eyebrows in the darkest shade of navy blue in my five color palette. Um, and I'm also making them very angular and then running them down the side of my nose just a little bit on the inner corner in the in the middle in the front just to kind of blend everything together and then I'm taking that dark blue shade that I just used and going over all the contours once more so then I'm taking a silver shade and running that over my mouth and chin area in preparation for the teeth that we're about to put down and I'm just coating that as like a background color for the teeth so I don't have to go in and shade them individually. And then I'm going to take a darker blue and just start doing the kind of bone veins for those teeth to give them some sort of shading. Um, and then I'm going to extend those down and create the teeth shape. And now I'm just taking a blue liquid liner pencil and outlining the edge of the teeth so I don't accidentally shade inside of them while I'm shading the upper bone portion of the teeth later on. And I used two different blue liners here. Uh, the first one was kind of faint, but the second one is a royal blue and it's a liquid liner from Revlon. Yeah. 
we're just going to repeat the process that we just did for the bottom teeth. So we're going to put down the silver first and then take that darker shade of blue and create the bones that are underneath the teeth and then create the shapes of the teeth. And then I'm using a liquid liner here to just extend the tops of the teeth up a little bit. As you can see, they're in a bit of a point. So I'm just extending that point line upward a little bit into the bone section. And then I'm taking a darker blue shadow and just shading in between the tops of the teeth right here. And then I'm going to take that darker shade of blue and an angled brush and just run it kind of along those lines for the bones that we already did that extend up into the face to kind of give them a sharper edge. And now I'm just using that uh, eyeshadow to outline my jawbone and then to fill it in. And we're going to fill it in with a navy blue shadow uh, that's a little bit lighter and then go in with a dark, dark navy blue, almost black tone and put that all around the edges to make them stand out a bit more. We're going to take that dark blue we just used to fill in the gaps in between our jaws to fill in the temples and you're going to just put that around the front edge of your temple and then blend it back to make that stand out a lot more. And then we're going to fill in the teeth with just a little bit of silver. And then we're going to do all of our regular stuff. So I line my eyes, top and the bottom, and then put on mascara. And then the very, very last thing that we're going to do, if you want, is to take some paint. I'm taking white and a frost blue and painting my hair to kind of match this look. And that paint's going to be something from Michael's like Snazaru body paint, not any acrylic or anything like that. And then we're done guys, so there's the completed look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.